Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to pay the final amount of 550,000 LB dollars. No more necessary fees or anything because this is our now, our number one ranked fight against the number one assassin in the whole world. I could have um, picked up a battery saving thing at Naomi's lab for the the final Subaki, but um, it costs like oh my, it costs like nine hundred thousand, nine hundred ninety nine, and nine hundred ninety nine LB dollars, and it's like no, <laughs> it does like um, it makes it so that you never have to recharge the thing ever again. So that's kind of cool, but. This is the last fight in the game. I think I'll be fine without it. Let's go. Why didn't I call this number in the first place? Uh, hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling? This is the Assassin's Association, right? Look, I gotta talk to you about... Oh, dear. She's done it again, hasn't she? Hey, are you listening? Excuse me for asking, but are you by chance an assassin? Whoa, don't tell the whole world. Then you have been had, sir. You are not her first. What? Run that by me again. Listen to me. Do not get involved whatever you do. Listen, lady. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who are you anyway? Another sorry kid. And for the record, I am Sylvia's mother. Mother? Yes, you heard me. And there's no such thing as an association, or whatever you think exists. You're joking, right? Do you know how many people I've killed? She is a professional con artist. You mean a fraud? Are you telling me this was all just bullshit? She set everything up. Would you mind telling me how far this all went? I'm now second in rank. So, just one more to go. Alrighty. Why not play along since you've come this far? Are you serious? What's the point? This is all some make-believe charade. But a good man finishes what he started. Fight to the end. Your most formidable opponent awaits in the castle. Now, off to the Garden of Madness. I mean, what are you supposed to say to that? No? Of course not. Gotta... Gotta head to the Garden of Madness. Jean! Might not come back. Take care of the house while I'm gone. Got that? Don't give me that face. Yeah, she's got it. She's strong. Anyways, yeah. We're heading out. Even though... Uh, the entire thing has been one big con. One big crack of shit. I don't get it, because, like... What? What? I forgot about this. The entrance to Ranking Battle 1 is now open. I forgot someone took your thing. And it's one of the Stormtrooper guys. T oh, camera! You did that to me at the beginning. You won't do it to me again at the end, please. So luckily, I got my dash. So I can make it there somewhat in good time. But uh, this gives me an opportunity... To, ah. An opportunity to talk. So... Was Sylvia just... Con artisting... Everybody? Like Destroy Man and Dr. Peace and Bad Girl and Shinobu and... That, what, what is the entire Assassin's Association... And everybody involved in it, just one big, like, nobody knew? I assume that's how it would went. That would, um, explain the exorbitant fees everyone has to pay to fight. But, like, if that's the case, how much, how much of that was she pocketing? If I paid 500,000 LB dollars to fight in one fight, and not to mention, I'm pretty sure 
when Travis fought Dr. Peace, and Dr. Pe Dr. Peace was talking all about, like, oh, yes, the association set up a, a nice place for me and my daughter to eat at. It was real good, and I it was such good food, and, like, um, they paid for this venue so at this stadium, the Destroy Stadium ballpark thing, so that I could sing there, and I was like, oh, yes, I love singing that stadium, and he did. And, um, <clears throat> if that's the case... Like, um, why are these blocked off? <laughs> I'm just realizing. People need to get out of here, don't they? Do people get out of here? Maybe they don't. At any rate, um, the implication is that, um, Travis's entrance fee paid for the dinner and the booking the stadium. Not that anyone's using the stadium here for anything else anyways. But, um, so... Everything else, was that also all paid for Travis? Destroy Man's studio, I guess, to make his Destroy Man movie? Was it used to pay, like, um, I don't know, Bad Girl's cloning machine so she could clone gimps and thwack them? What was Shinobu getting out of it other than just... I guess Shinobu was in it just to find the man with the, the beam katana. Really, the man who killed her father. Lady, I didn't even put my... Okay, you know what? She just gave up and left. Never mind. But yeah, here's Schlepp Tiger. They just left it here. And there the fuckers go. Dark Star. My castle. Cold Dark Star. It's like Death Star, but Dark Star. Get it? So, now we do this, and, um, ah, shit, we can hit those, but I think we're supposed to avoid them. These guys are here, I can knock into them, I guess, ooh, that's the thing. Okay, yeah, I don't want to get that. I seem to remember there was a way to, like, okay, no, I guess you just bump them. Oh, and they throw Molotovs at you, okay. My brain remembers a point in time where I could, like, um... Use my beam katana to fuck <laughs> that animation. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I see. My mind remembers a point where I could like swing my beam katana while on this thing, but I guess it doesn't have pen. He just ate shit on his own. But yeah, look at this. Isn't this cool? We're driving, and we're fighting guys on our thing. This isn't so important for you guys, I guess, because for me, I've been having to drive this this big dumb bike around town, like, back and forth so many times, for so many hours, on the road, just going from, like, corner to corner, there to there, picking up coconuts and crap. But now, we're doing the thing that the, the map talked about. We're leaving Santa Destroy and never looking back. Shit. Oh, we gotta go into the spooky woods. The rainy woods, even. No, there's no rain here, I'm pretty sure. I think I might have just hit someone by accident. Shit, I'm supposed to jump over that, but turning here is not exactly good to do. Okay, yeah. There we go. And those motherfuckers can just drive through it, because why not? Go. Yep. This sure is a nice final level. I'm, I'm going, going fast. There it is, at the end of the road. The Garden of Madness. Holy shit, what the hell? There's some, some Death Star crap right there, giant laser beams. 
Oh, he stopped. What is this? I don't remember this at all. What is it? What? Oh, okay. <sighs> no! I better start from there. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do not enter. Bridge starts lifting up. And I have to tap the Z button when it says it to. Between the 10 and the 12. Okay. With these goofy ass sound effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost didn't get that. That did not feel good. It's behind us now, it's behind us now. Bam! Could have stuck the landing a little better. So here we are. Garden of Mad- You can't hide anything from me! I'm too good for it. Yes, the Garden of Madness. Our final destination. Mushrooms! Yep. <gasps> Thunder you! He's telling me to go that way. Thanks, Thunder you. Oh. Uh oh. I like to do the same motion that he's doing. Where I put like the Wii remote up on my side, like I'm drawing, and then I. Yeah. Here we go. I'll miss you up good. Oh, no, not happening. He's pointing to the left now. Okay. Thanks, Thunder Ryu. That's kind of the gimmick of this stage, is Ghostly Thunder Ryu, which is no longer very interesting, by the way. Because you can still go to his... Like, if you went to his, um, building, Thunder Ryu building, and there was just nobody there, that'd be one thing. But because you go there, and it's like... go there and he's just like, yeah, I'm dead now, but it's cool, Travis, don't worry. So yeah, this makes it really easy to get rid of these guys. And you gotta recharge afterwards, but even if I didn't have to recharge, it still would be pretty easy. I mean, it'd be easier, I mean. And even if I didn't have this particular katana, you could still... Oh yeah, that's another thing. I like the, um, this is the high stance, and as you slowly... That's pretty good, right? That's cool. Brings it, like, up across his, like that. That's nice, I like that. Shit. Fuck. I don't feel so bad about it because these are like the strongest enemy types in the game. If it was regular guys, I'd just be like fighting them pretty much. In fact, you know, I guess let's try and fight this guy. Just regular. Again? I didn't see which way Thunder Ryu was pointing. Shit. I'm gonna take a gamble and say left. I don't know what happens if you do it wrong. Maybe you just get sent back to the beginning. Maybe you instantly die. Who knows? We'll find out. Maybe. I think this might be progress. Looks like it. 
Oh. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it. Oh my god. A, a paper from Thunder Ryu. Travis. That! Breath of men is not breath of beasts. You know. You know. Your edge can be poison or cure or wounded. To be learned is the path and to be ignorant is also the path. Ha! Huh. Your path, that is, your path is that. A path that no one, nothing can pass. Let the path reach on. Devotion is only given to those who perfect single thing. Reward then. No reward those who do not perfect. Does a reward or just evil, lie down your path. Fight until you die, Travis. Thunder you. Damn, that's heavy. Yes. Alright. I remember that in Killer7, you do kind of meet ghosts. And they talk to you of stuff. Travis, can you hear me? Sylvia, I never thought you'd make it this far, but I am sorry, I cannot see you anymore. I want to fly to your side right now. I want to be in your arms. I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you, no matter the cost. Meeting you, I felt truly alive for the first time. I mean that. But feelings and reality are two different things. Life is not that simple, yes? Now, be honest. Did you really think I would let you do me if you hit number one? You really are an idiot, aren't you, Travis? Come back to reality. I mean, look at yourself. You are a dopey otaku assassin. The bottom of the barrel. No woman would be caught dead with you unless she was a desperate bitch. Where in the world could you find a woman who could fall in love with someone like you? Well, one is right here. It was fun, Travis. I love you. Now, don't forget to use the restroom. Trust your force and head the garden of madness. I like how the mixed messages don't even stop till the very end. And she's incredibly right. Travis has stayed 100% a dopey, dumb otaku assassin throughout the entire adventure. Uh, says a lot about people who play this game. Uh, Excuse me? Toilet. Over there? I'll trust you. No more heroes. Hmm. It's, there's an actual toilet just in the middle of the nowhere. Travis, you could just do this anywhere. Finally, a location where you can save wherever you want. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. In Killer7, you meet ghosts. Kind of like you met Thunder Ryu. But also in Killer7, there was a ghost na like named Travis. And he bore quite the resemblance to this guy, except he was blonde. Also, he, um... The Travis we have here, when he goes into dark side mode, he does... You know, he does, um... Turn blonde, kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna get a good look at this. Garden of Madness. Not seeing too much garden. Plenty of madness, though. Ooh. 
horses, horseshoes. To my castle, I heartily receive you, my son. All right, enough with the jokes. A joke? You don't remember me, Travis. I am your true father. Blood does not make such mistakes. That was bullshit. Jeez, you are full of it, aren't you? Good story. I'll give you that much. You see, this is just another story. Even if you were my father, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is who's best. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember. Everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. You're still as gullible as ever, Travis. Think, why would he be your father? I guess you're right. I don't have a father. At least not anymore. You killed him, didn't you? Yes. And that's why you became an assassin. To kill me. Now I get it. All those fights. It was for this. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. Jean, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? You don't need to know. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are my half-brother. You know that manga called Miyuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother. Took her off to see your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, she took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, she molested me. We lived in this rotten apartment, and I was his slave. Every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day. The cursing didn't change anything. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Now you see what I've been through? Maybe it had to be done. But vengeance begets vengeance. You're right. Go ahead. Draw, brother. All of your sorrows end today, Jean. So, you can slow that down. You can also go into like, um... Like on YouTube, there's videos that just show it slowed down. 
and uh, you can do that. I'm not going to. It's actually really too terrible. Shit. Oh god. Sh okay. So here we have Jean. Travis's surprise sister out of nowhere. And yeah. What you see is what you get. Oh god. Alright. This sure is a sorry sell. So, oh, sorry show. like an asshole. Oh, shit. I hit her once a little bit on my wake up. So I can interrupt her attacks a little bit by attacking at her so she bobs and weaves. There's also the only enemy in the whole game who does that, pretty much. Who actually just completely goes like full dodge mode. Oh, I got her a little bit. Okay. Okay. I got her a little bit. Hitting mostly air. And that's still taking up some of uh, my, um... Still not quite sure when you're supposed to hit her. Okay, right after that, you have an opportunity to get some hits in. I see. What was that backflip thing? And probably, oh god, probably after that. I'm already almost dead. There's a trick to fighting this boss. Particularly if you have this katana. But uh, I'll try and not rely on it. I'm gonna give it the honest college try, you know? Despite having never been to college. I kind of know. I do kind of like how this... Stages ring is the uh, dragon. Elect oh god, the dragon from um, what's his name's uh, Dark Star's horse head thing, which sprouts a dragon. Uh oh. Phase two. Oh, the dragon pulls in tighter. I'm gonna want to get this before it goes away entirely. If I remember correctly, you know what? Hang on, let me just to make sure. Okay, no. I thought that would actually hurt you if you touched it. Oh shit, she gets a follow-up to that as well. Oh, she's got that foot stomp. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good attack. Can hit her once on that. Can hit her... There. Oh, God. Keep forgetting, keep forgetting. That dash around is so cool and also so dangerous. That might have been an opportunity to grab her there. That's right, Jean doesn't really have a weapon with which to defend herself, so even when she's blocking, you still kind of hit her. That's an interesting detail that I don't think I've ever, ever noticed before. I got her! Oh shit, no! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Never mind. Her hand-to-hand -hand is much better than mine. Yeah. 
damn it. This is a cool environment also, I guess. Sunset. These rows of of obelisk pillars. And this dragon thing, of course. Ah. Round three. How about if I did this? Yeah. All right. That would be a much bigger threat if, like, um, it was actually um, it hurt. That stays out for so long. Probably got three to this. Yeah. Shit. Damn. Did we just do the same jump over kick right there? Not really. Fuck. Huh. Don't lose it now. Don't lose it now. So close. She appears to not be that bulky in terms of health. Damn it. That could have been it. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm fucking dead. I was not ready for that. <gasps> oh god! Do it! Right. Brother, please don't kill me! Sorry, Jean. This hurts me too. We're both in the same business after all. And I've... had enough. Time for you to rest, Jean. Good night, Travis. I hope your next dream is a more pleasant one. It's over. This is where it all ends. Right, Sylvia? With the surprise Shinobu out of nowhere. Also, yes, please pay, please let's not ignore surprise backstory for Travis. Actually, he had a sister the whole time and... Well... Oh. Ah, uh, nice. We did it! Marvelously, we made it to the number one spot in the rankings. Dark Star, well, he wasn't even the guy really, but knock him down. Bam. Okay, we don't need to see every line go. Okay, thank you.
If you're wondering why the star sometimes jumps around like that, it's because when you're in the loading screen, you press the B button and it makes the star hop up a little bit. You keep mashing it, it goes and goes and goes and it turns to different colors. It's kind of nice. Anyways, that was no more heroes. Thank you all for watching. I guess I'll start up a No More Heroes 2 sometime soon. View ending or view real ending. Let's view the real ending. This is such a weird setup also. Because there's when you're in the save menu, nothing ever shows up. But now we can view the real ending. Which if you're wondering what's the difference be between these two, if you don't get all the beam katanas, you can only do the real end, the regular ending. But if you get all beam katanas like I did, you view the real ending. So let's view it. It's finally over. Can't a guy get some privacy? At least when he's taking a dump? I'm afraid not. These fights don't work like that. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> oh. <gasps> Will you hurry up with that? I'll be outside. That was close. Thanks. Ugh. What an idiot. You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. <sighs> it's Sir Henry, motherfucker! Who killed the giant brain guy? And we we just straight into it. And he does this shit. So here's our true secret final boss. Sir Henry motherfucker. Ugh. From uh, straight out of Ireland. Ireland. Ah. Ugh. I can do it too. I can do it too. Ugh. Oh, that's his par his counter move. Also, Travis is wearing his regular red, which is kind of cool. His real clothes, not the fake ones I had on. He just did the the jump stab thing that the, the dash stab that would normally happen when Travis is in dark side mode, where he cuts the dude in half. That's cool. I never noticed that before. And also, my bike is forming the barrier. I don't know why I said it like that. The barrier. So we can't escape. And we're fighting here. In the parking lot. Grab him. Gotcha. Backwards. Yeah. So this fight is actually super duper difficult. Much, much harder than Gene. And there's no secret trick to this one. Which if you're wondering what the secret trick with Gene was, it was to continuously use like, um... Continuously use um, charged uh, low attacks. That big three hit one? Shit, dude! That one just wrecks, wrecks Gene up because she doesn't know how to handle with it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Fuck. Fuck, okay, you gotta dodge twice for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put your straight right down to the ground. Grab your ass. Ugh. Not, not like that, though. Ah, uh, screw it. Like, like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can interrupt him during that. I did not know. Oh, that's that's big. That's big, big, big news. Oh, but only if you can actually get the timing right. Okay. Oh, I'm getting so sweaty. This is not good. Yeah. 
Ugh, okay, I gotta stop acting like an idiot. Also, it'd behoove me to get some health. Ooh, some sixth sense right there. Some spider sense. What is this? What? Oh, shit. Oh, he's got an instant kill move. I forgot about that. This anime ass shit. Oh, my ass is dead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Henry is exposed after his spinning attack. Take that chance to attack. Can't even return to Santa's destroyer. All right. Okay. We're back with only 10% health. But you know who else has only 10% health? That guy. And now, I hopefully will be at the end of this. Dodge early for that. You're just in time to wake up for that. Dive back dodge. Wait for me to do this. Early dodge. Dodge that, wake up for that. Yeah, okay. I got him down to a science. Except when I mess up. A little too far away, but that's fine. I've noticed something. For some reason, attacks like the Leaping Slash and Charge Slashes will do damage even when they're not supposed to, really. Like, even when the opponent is in, like, a, um... in, like, that sort of, um... state where they're not supposed to be able to. Like, that yellow flash kind of... ting 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 That kind of thing. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it does to me, because I played the game. Okay. That could have been death right there. Oh my god. <sighs> we did it. We did it. Uh, damn it! Is that all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't be serious. All this time you didn't realize. What are you talking about? I'm your twin <laughs> brother. What the hell? That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Why would you bring up something like that at the very last minute of the game? I would have thought you and the player would have at least expected a twist of fate of some kind. What? And hey, where's Sylvia anyway? She disappeared without a trace. Where the hell is she? You mean my wife. What? Wife? Yes, you know. Spouse, soulmate, Henry's wife. Get the idea? When did you two get married? Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. <laughs> oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. I'm sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife. A really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's a bad wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! <laughs> but Travis, my brother, we're similar in many ways. <laughs> You're right. Suddenly, you being my brother doesn't sound so awkward. Let me ask you. How do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but where the hell's the exit? Oh. There's no way out, is there? <laughs> no getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call Paradise. Let's go! Oh, yeah! No more heroes! This doesn't make any sense. Woohoo! Anime! 
lightsabers, wrestling moves. Fuck it. Put everything in the game. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. Oh, I dropped the nunchuck. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh. Put put that up with like the the picture of Jeff um Jefferson Washington crossing the Delaware or whatever old guy crossing the Delaware old founding father and this right next to it this thing from Japan. <laughs> <sighs> One last little tidbit about Mr. Sir Henry Motherfucker over here. His real last name is Cool Down. He's Henry Cool Down. And he's Travis Touchdown's twin brother, which Travis doesn't even appear to care about, like, football or anything. He's just Touchdown. Just, just Touchdown. Why not? Travis's got a twin brother and he's also got his secret sister and he's also his parents are dead and there's all this deep meaningful character you didn't know about and you didn't care about till now and that's why Nova Harris is awesome a sweaty ass fight at the end there yeah and this moment here this makes it all worth it all the coconut collecting, all the lawn mowing, all the garbage picking up, all the scorpion stings, all the ten of those other motherfuckers we killed off. Oh my fucking god, I forgot. I fo You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean. <sighs> I forgot they make it a painting in the thing. Oh god. I know. Too bad there won't be a sequel. 
So the joke there is that there was ne- was never to be intended a sequel. And in the the final scene there, it was supposed to be like Travis and Henry going to cut each other's heads off or whatever. And but then they, they sold well and they made a sequel. And the sequel sold terribly. Even though it's overall a dramatic improvement of the original, somebody <clears throat> just didn't really give it too much. Ah! Or was there supposed to be a sequel? Ah! Or is that just a reference to Back to the Future? Probably. Anyways, yeah, No More Heroes 2 didn't get, like, any good, um, marketing, really, so. Yeah. But people like it now. Let us also not, um, neglect the, uh, Jean, right, Jean is Travis's sister, and the final boss, but also, Travis named his cat Jean after that Jean, even though he forgot about the first Jean and named the cat Jean, so... Also, the cat is Thunder Ryu's ultimate demise, so I don't know if there's symbolism there, but... Ah. Oh, hey, there's a... Oh, there's a movie. I didn't know. Oh, it's just this. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. I see that's ya. what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register, then I realized I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This cat, well-dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Yeah, so he's styling, fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Bada bing. Or at least it was supposed to be. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with this Watchmacallit Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's gonna be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could totally suck. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the Wii remote right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin! <laughs> 